What's going on guys here with Heart Attack and after the last episode I'm actually having a lot of fun doing Light Platinum again. It feels like it is when I very first started the series so hopefully you guys are having fun too and today we're going to be taking on the 8th gym in the Zerhi region which is a dragon type gym and we got a bit of leveling up to do on two of our Pokemon that's Rusty and Orange. I think I'm going to focus a bit on Orange now because he's going to be a lot more important than Rusty in this battle but I don't want to be too over leveled because I know his lowest why can't we move okay this is weird one second okay well that was weird anyways as i was saying um i know the lowest level pokemon this guy has is a level 58 kingdra might be 59 and his highest is i think 63 which is why i got everybody here to 58 and i'm gonna be doing a lot of training with orange um just to get orange as high as i can because i want to make this challenging because like the last few gyms have been really disappointingly easy so i wouldn't mind if this one is a little more do difficult which is why I left orange like such a low level when I was doing the grinding because then we could just get levels off of the gym trainers and then whatever level we are after that is when we'll challenge him now to be honest I am a little worried about Kingdra because Kingdra is kind of like the only Pokemon that he has that I'm actually worried about because I don't know what I'm supposed to do against it mainly because I could like I know I do have a dragon type move with um, dragon claw on my Archeops but Kingdra's probably has a water type move, so you know it's like, is that really the smartest option using a, a rock type Pokemon against Kingdra? I guess what I'll probably do is like use Lapras and then just try to body slam it and try to kill it that way, which is what I have to do with like a lot of Pokemon I don't have anything strong against. Like stupid freaking the million Gastrons we had to face, I would always just body slam them, and be like, hey, you die, and then they would they would die and it'd be okay. So. Uh, we already gone this way? I don't know, this gym is confusing me, and I don't I don't like it. So let's try surfing this goodbye. And Um Oh my god, moves I just realized like I still have not turned move animations back on after I kept promising I would do it in the last episode. And wow. Okay, you know what? Let's do it right now. And I know people, you're probably yelling at me that I didn't do it. And I don't, you know, that the last episode has already been posted, or it hasn't been posted yet, like, by the time I'm recording this, but I just know you guys are just yelling at me right now. I can, like, I have Caterpie senses, and I know you guys are yelling at me, so they're back on now. Don't worry about it. Although, like, apparently having move animations off is good luck, because I won my very first Nuzlocke with, like, the Fire Red Nuzlocke, which I still don't, like, technically count that, I guess, because it wasn't a full on-screen Nuzlocke, it was just the Elite Four. But um, I won that when I had move animations off. When I have move animations off in this, I catch freaking um, Giratina in two Ultra Balls. So um, I, I kind of like it. Anyways, we are a bit more under leveled than I thought I'd be. But you know what? I'm okay with that. So it's time to take on. I have no idea what this guy's name is, but he's the 8th gym leader in the Zerhi region. Let's do this. Welcome to the Drake Breast City Gym. This is the last gym in the Zeri League, so it's the most renowned and difficult of all. Be strong and get ready, for I will defend this gym with all the power of my Pokemon possess. You know, you think they would have included some kind of dialogue about the events that happened last episode? I mean, we're like with this guy at the top of some dragon mountain, and he now he's just here like, Oh, hey, bro, thanks for showing up. It's like, oh, that's, that's cool. Wow, did we really just... Oh my god, he has Bubble. Oh, that's so terrifying. I should just go home right now, because I, 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 what am I supposed to do against a bubble? Do you know how scary bubbles are? Okay, I've had like nightmares about like SpongeBob just chasing me down with his bubble wand, saying like, "Play with me, I'm ready, I'm ready," and it's literally like the most terrifying thing. I wake up and sweat, looking around my room, praying to God that there's no SpongeBob there, and thankfully for me, there normally isn't. So. Uh, I guess let's keep up with Orange because he is like the lowest leveled. So, but unfortunately, like um, Ice Beam is just gonna annihilate everything because dragons are so lucky that they always get paired with types that make him quad weak to ice. Except for uh, like Hydreigon, he got lucky because now all he has is a weakness to fighting. So that's good. Yep, another Pokemon I should probably heal up actually because I seem to remember a certain Garchomp with Earthquake doing a lot of damage to Orange. And, uh, okay, Crunch should do that much. Hopefully we can, uh, why are you still using Crunch? I, shouldn't you have Earthquake? That's what the other guys had. Oh, come on. Please live and do something to me. Just, like, kill one of my Pokemon. Just at least, like, poke one of my Pokemon. 
You know, they need love too. Alright, we're gonna use someone else for Haxorus. Let's use... Um... Let's use... Fruit Loop. Let's try out our brand new Dragon Claw, because I don't think we've got to use that yet. So, yeah. Oh, no, he's Intimidate. That really sucks, except Dragon Claw is a special type move in this game, so it doesn't really matter. How does he... I never would have thought. Really, looking at Fruit Loop, I want to think of him as, like, the kind of Pokemon that have Dragon type moves. Okay, maybe this is a bad idea. Uh, let's try another Dragon Claw. He's faster now. Dragon Breath is special, so the Dragon Dance doesn't benefit it at all. That poor, poor Haxorus. He had a chance to sweep me. If he would have gone with, like, some kind of physical move, uh, it probably would have done quite a bit of damage. But nope. Instead, he messes it up. So, finally for Dragonite, let's go with Roxy. I feel like mixing it up here a little. I'm pretty sure Dragonite probably has, like, Hyper Beam, so I should be scared of that. But you know what? Nah. Being scared is for wimps. Ooh. Outrage. Okay, you know what? Maybe I should have been scared. Roxy, I'm sorry. Roxy, okay. Okay. It's okay. Now we switch into Kekos, because Kekos can take Outrages for days. It's okay. Uh, I really... I like Outrage's move, um, like, animation in this generation, but seriously, Outrage in 5th generation in Black 2 and White 2 has probably, like, one of the coolest move animations that's, like, ever been in Pokemon. It just looks extremely badass. And I'm really kind of excited to see what Outrage is going to look like in Gen 6. Because um, a lot of moves in Gen 6 look really cool. I mean, it's like Colosseum, except better, if that makes sense. Because, I don't know, I really love like the 3D aspect. And let's finish him off with a nice Dragon Ball. Or, or Shadow Ball. Actually, let's hope he kills himself. <gasps> He's going to kill himself. He doesn't even like, want us to do it. He's just, no, I will die like a man. Suicide. Suicide is not manly, sir. I wish you could take that back. Well, that was the 8th gym. And once again... Not very challenging at all. So, that's disappointing. Well, now that you've defeated me, you can go on to challenge the Zero Heal Elite Four. Also, you've won the Claw Badge. Yay. Is that the sound it's supposed to make when you get a badge? That doesn't sound right. I already got the Claw Badge. With the Claw Badge, you can use HMO7 Waterfall outside of battle and climb waterfalls to get to the Elite Four. Here's another gift. Oh, we got Dragon Claw, which is actually pretty cool, because I might give that to, um... Um... Rusty. I think Rusty can learn Dragon Claw. That seems like a pretty pretty good move to like get rid of Mud Slap, because do we really need Mud Slap? I mean, I know it's fun to like troll people with like lowered accuracy and everything, but yeah. Well, I guess what's next is the Elite Four, and I don't know where to get Waterfall, and it looks like I'm going to be needing a Waterfall Slave, because I don't want to give it to Lapras. So, um, really quick, I think I'm going to go find out like where do you get Waterfall? And then I'm probably going to pick one of my Pokemon to be a Water Slave. So, yay! Be right back. Alright, so apparently you get Waterfall into the department store from a certain character, which you guys may remember. Because he will never leave us alone. And I believe the department store is up here. Because I seem to remember coming here off screen and buying a ton of stuff. So, we got to find... Oh! Yep, there he is. He wasn't here before, so he only appears after you beat him. Hey, Hardy! I came here to buy some items to prepare for my battle with the Dragon Gym Leader, Wesley. What? You already have the badge? No way! Ash Ketchum was here and told me to give you HMO7 Waterfall. Okay, that's weird. Why would he just, like, randomly want me to have this? Now I have to hurry. I can see I'm falling behind you as you already have eight badges in the Zeri region. I have to go after them myself. Um, red? The gym's not in there. Uh, anyways, let's... Head off to the Elite Four, and it looks like next episode we'll be taking on the Elite Four, so I'm probably going to have some grinding to do, and I think I'll probably end up leaving myself um, like the same levels as the lowest level of the Elite Four, because like seriously, this game's just like becoming too easy, and I need it to be challenging because it's not fun. Um, I think Blowjob could probably learn our water type moves, so we will pick Blowjob. It's for the first time in like six episodes, the team's actually changing. Now let's see, can Blowjob, can he be our HM slave? He can learn dive. Okay, that's awesome. I seem to remember, like, the only thing I remember about Psyduck is, like, his inability to learn, like, any water type moves, like, by level up in third generation because he hates me. But not today, Psyduck. Not today. And we'll give you Surf. So we're going to go ride around on our Blowjob, and it's going to be awesome. So we got to make sure we don't have him in front, though, because I can't imagine that would go well. And since we're going to be surfing, let's put Roxy up front. And are we really going to be going through um, Victory Road today? I don't know, because 
I, I, w I don't know if I want to make like Victory Road a big special episode or if we were just going to make this a big special episode or... Uh, actually, I want to go buy some repels first and that's just going to take a minute. So one second. Alright, so I have some repels now and the main reason I bought repels is because I hate like surfing encounters. They're just, they're really annoying. And I bought super repels because in case you didn't know, super repels are actually more efficient than max repels because... Or I think like money wise you get more out of super repels than you do max repels. I may be wrong with that, but um... Listen to me, I'm a doctor. I obviously know what I'm talking about, okay? So, I believe now if we go up this way, we'll find that lovely waterfall. And, uh, it's a large waterfall. Do you want to use... This looks like a really puny waterfall, I'm not going to lie. And, hey, didn't you quit this journey? Hey, Hardy. My friend Lunik is waiting in my house to battle... Are you serious? Really? Oh my god, you... Ugh. We have to go all the way back to your... Okay, you know what? I'm just going to fly there, because screw that. I can't, why? Why can't he just be here and then battle us here, huh? Why do we have to fly all the way back to Snowy City, then go find your stupid house to go find your stupid friend who sends you out to go stand in front of a stupid kid because he could have stupid freaking doing his stupid stuff because he's just big stupid little stupid guy who doesn't know how to stupid. Now we gotta go destroy him because he's so stupid. This better be a good battle or I'm gonna be like really angry, man. And I mean like, what the, what? What? Well, Hardy Tammy, but, but, oh, we already did this. Ugh. We already did this part. Uh, stop. Oh my god, no, that was really stupid. What am I doing? Roxy, Roxy. Uh -huh. Okay, I probably deserve that. Oh my god, you're going to use Earthquake again, and I just sent in a fire type. Why am I so dumb? Quackers, oh my god. I have so much fail today. Okay, that's better. Wow, I probably, this is like what I get saying, oh man, this game's so easy, now this game's like, Haha, I want to change your mind about that, punk. Yeah, I do. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to call this game easy, it's extremely tough, and I have many nightmares about it, so. Let's never have any trouble again, okay, thank you. Protect, that's hilarious, now we're going to Thunderbolt, and Blastoise should be gone. Okay, now that we have you out of the way, let's go take on your friend, blah blah blah, we've already battled you three times now, so please leave me alone. And now we can battle Lunik, or whatever. Finally, Hardy, you've come to battle me for the title of best trainer in Zeri. I'm sorry, who are you and why should I care, like, if you think you're the best? Player Trunic, Lunik, so whatever. Oh, okay, so you actually have high level Pokemon. That makes me happy. Let's Thunderbolt your Infernape. Actually, I think this is like the first time we've seen an Infernape in this game. I don't remember, but I don't seem to remember, like, encountering any Infernapes before, so... I'm happy. A guard shop is up next, and we no longer have our ice type. Yay! But we have Fruit Loop, so Fruit Loop can do anything he wants. Fruit Loop has a claw, and he swipes things like rar. Fruit Loop is like just so ferocious. He's like a little kid. He's like rar. I'm so ferocious. You should be afraid of me. I'm so afraid of you, Fruit Loop. You're just so pretty and cute. Like seriously, Fruit Loop is like one of the cutest Pokemon ever. I. All these colors are so hypnotizing. It's been a while before I battle again. I'm going home to rest and be with my family. Aren't you, like, going home? Or... Whoa. Wait a minute. Were you there a second ago? What the... What? Oh, my God. You know what? I'm getting out of this house. I don't like it here. So... That was, like, beyond terrifying. And I don't... I can't be bothered with this grass. So, teleporting power! And just like that, we are back at Victory Road. So, let's embark on our new journey. And the first thing we're going to do is catch ourselves a Pokemon. Oh, okay, no, the first thing we're going to do is get a full store. So now we're going to catch ourselves a Pokemon for Victory Road, and it's going to be... Hey, Golbat, we already have one of you. It's going to be... a hey, Lunatone. Interesting. Um... I think I will double kick you. Hopefully that shouldn't kill you. I know I had a Lunatone before, and I actually can't remember what it was called. I want to think it was Cheese, and I don't... I think it was in Blaze Black 2, and it was named Cheese. I might be wrong on that, though. Okay, if you're harder to catch than the Giratina, then we're going to have... Okay, you're harder to catch than the Giratina. That's cool. Um, wow, are you serious? Can we maybe just, like, stay in the ball on a tone? I don't even want you, okay? You know what? I don't even want you. I already have, like, a freaking amazing psychic type, and I have, like, a Giratina, and I don't need... I... Okay. You're going to have to stop this now. We're going to have to stop playing games, and maybe you could just, like, go ahead and die, and that'd be awesome. Roxy, for the love of God, wake up. Roxy, this thing's setting up on you. 
Roxy! Okay. Okay. Let's pretend that never happened and get on with the gym battles. Or the, um, something random trainer battles. Yay! So, Iron is up. Oh! So, um, while we're going through Victory Road, I actually meant to talk about this last episode. Because, for those of you who are curious, the last episode is like, If you could defeat the Serious Leaf Four with Ordinary Pokemon, you're dead wrong. You need to train. Uh, wow. Rude. Um, I meant to talk about this last episode, because, for the record, I, last episode is right before... Wow, phone, really? <laughs> I'm just, like, not meant to talk about this. Um, the last episode is actually, like, for me, right before this episode, I'm recording two back-to-back. -back. I meant to talk about this in the last one, but with, like, all the major storyline events that are going on, I just completely got distracted and, like, didn't even have a chance to talk about it. So, I'm gonna do that now, and... As you guys know, I think I might have mentioned it like once or twice. I'm kind of a huge fan of Black Light Attack. As in like, I seriously fanboy about that guy. I love him so much. He's the reason I make Pokemon videos in the first place. So, um, a little while ago, I was browsing Twitter and I saw that he said that like, Pokemon for this, for today has finished processing. And I got all excited like, oh my god, a new Pokemon video. Of course, what I didn't realize is that like it wouldn't be live for another hour, so I didn't realize that this is the time. But I went to his channel to like go see the new video because it wasn't popping up in my subscription box. And when I'm on his channel, I just I happen to be like looking around like, oh my god, it's Black Light Attack! I love you so much. And then I noticed something. I noticed like looking over in his like suggested channel thing, there's this cute little derpy Caterpie there. And I'm like, oh, it's a Caterpie, how adorable. And then I realized, that's my Caterpie. I, today I found out, I'm in Black Light Attack's, like, little box on his channel. And that literally just, it made me so happy. Um, because, I mean, the dude is literally, like, my idol on YouTube. He's the reason I'm making Pokemon. I love him so much. I, like, I've watched his Super Mario Sunshine Let's Play twice now. Um, I've watched, like, both of his, nu I've watched his Nuzlocke and his Egglock, I think twice. Um, uh, I gotta, like, I gotta love him. And, so the fact that, like, this guy who, we, I don't really know if, like, you would consider his friends, because pretty much, like, the only time we ever talk is, like, random conversation over Twitter. Like, uh, the only time we've ever talked on Skype is when we did the Pokemon game show together, which, talking about, speaking of the Pokemon game show, um... It is coming back, like, I got really lazy and actually completely forgot about it. But I mentioned on Twitter that, like, I'm working on it again, and Black Light Attack's like, Hey, if you want me to be on it, I will. So, I made your fanboy at that. And so Black Light Attack will be on the return. Why did I not switch out? Roxy, no! Roxy! Oh! Oh! No! Oh! Roxy! You've... No! 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 Oh! Um, any... Anyways... Um... What's TM42? Facade... Oh my god, Roxy, no! I'm so sorry, I forgot to heal you up! Uh... Um... Anyway, so Black Light Attack is going to be on the next episode of Pokemon Game Show, which should be, like, in the next few weeks, or next week or so, hopefully. And, um, what else? What what other thing was I going to say? Um, oh, okay, so I'm going to try to cheer myself up here. Um, when, a while, like, a few weeks ago, when Black Light Attack was, he just started his Heart Gold Mono Bug run. And he ended up, like, tweeting to me after, like, I guess he recorded an episode that if the Caterpie he had caught in that episode was a guy, he would have named it Hardy. And that was just, like, the most epic moment of my life. Because it's like, wow, my, like, my Poke, my, not Poke, my, my YouTube idol, like, he acknowledged, not only does he acknowledge me, it's like, not only am I in his box, but I almost became a Pokemon in his series. And it's like, I don't even think we're, like, considered friends, because, um, we, like, pretty much never talk, but seriously, just, like, seeing that, seeing that I'm in his boxing, like, I acknowledge him. And, oh, I'm a moderator in his Twitch stream. 
I don't know why. I think I asked him that once. He's like, oh, because I know who you are. And I'm like, okay, that's awesome. I love you. <laughs> but yeah, so I think I fanboyed enough for one video. <laughs> once again, you surpassed me, but I'm going to train to beat the Elite Four. Blah, blah, blah. You're going to lose. Okay. So I thought we were done with Victory Road, but apparently not. There's, okay, I don't want to surf. And my electric Pokemon is dead. No. Oh, uh, and I just realized I have three Pokemon weak to water. That's cool. Well, just in case, I'm going to put on a Super Repel because I don't want to run into any Pokemon. And let's go take on you. And if you don't have a Tentacruel, I'm like, I'm going to call Fraud because you are literally sitting on a Tentacruel. So something a little fishy is going on here, and I don't like it. Tentacruel, okay. Thank you. You have a Tentacruel. I don't have to, like, report you to the Poke Police. The Pokemon, like, what is the... I don't remember what the Pokemon Force is called in this game. It's like... Um, poke, like the, I don't remember. I honestly, like, I don't remember. I know it has a name because we've, like, run into them several times for some stupid reason that nobody cares about. And they're like, oh, we're going to stop Team Steam. And yet it's up to me to stop Team Steam because they're a bunch of useless quacks. So, anyways, I think we're almost at the way four. I don't actually, oh, hey, Bandit. Bandit just came in. I saw the door opening and I got, like, all Bandit, like, oh, God, someone's coming in here. And I'm like, go away. But, nope, it's just my cat because my cat's awesome and I kind of want to just maybe like get to the way forward by now because now Kekos is going to get over leveled from this which I guess he's like the only person that could take on these traders right now so we kind of like have no choice but to use him which is awesome and of course we're going to miss Meteor Mash and of course we're going to get frozen how are we even faster oh uh interesting maybe we can um I don't like this. Maybe, can we like unfreeze? Okay, well I'm switching out. Screw that. I will go into... Uh, Fruit Loop. Fun. Don't have a water type move. Okay, you have Ice Beam, which is super effective. Oh my god, Fruit Loop. Oh, and you're dead. Okay. Whew. Well, that was exciting to say the least. And wow, you're still frozen? What the heck, Keckles? Um, it's fine. Oh my god, do we seriously have to dive? I was like wondering, why haven't we used Dive yet? And now I know why, because the game hates us. So, that's awesome. Oh, look, an underwater cave. There he's underwater. Um, is this where we're supposed to go like above water? Or, um, what? Dive, can't use that here, okay. I guess that's not where we're supposed to come up, so I have no idea what this cave is all about. Let's try going south, I guess. Luckily, okay, there's nothing south. Let's try going north like I guess because there's totally a ton of options on places to go repel wore off uh no oh, repel did not wore off let's pretend that didn't happen um okay a boat that's totally not cryptic or weird or anything where where are we supposed to go? okay I think this is where we're supposed to go and are we out of here now are we are we where we're supposed to be are we almost at the elite four I'm like really nervous now because I feel like wow we we're still frozen solid I just freezing even have like a time limit or turn limit because this is the third turn we've been frozen fourth turn we've been frozen uh fifth turn we've been frozen sixth turn we've been frozen seventh turn we've been frozen okay so it only took eight turns to defrost that's totally not op or anything most of the time like i had to freeze on like the first or second turn apparently not this time so <laughs> wow you know now that roxy's dead a cop part of me kind of wants to like bring um giratina but i mean we already have like all everything that giratina brings you know giratina has a dragon type move i think he has a ghost type move he has a um dark type moves like we already have all those types why did i use extra sensory so he wouldn't really bring anything new i don't know you know maybe we'll bring a dragon type with us Ah, uh, you are a dark type. Why did I think you were a normal type? That was stupid on my part. Okay, let's meteor match, I guess, because I don't know what else to do against you. Wow, you are a tanky little mandibuzz. Okay, now you're dead. Um, I don't know what Pokemon we're going to bring. Oh my god, is this it? Is this it? Oh, CLE4. <gasps> oh no, red, not again. Well, I see you're right here. The last challenge of Desert Healy, DOE4, but I'll be your real test before you get there. Oh my god, so many rival battles this episode. This is... Okay, you would... Frickin' have a Charizard. That's fantastic. But 
You know what? I have Rock Slide. And I ha I missed Rock Slide, so yay. Now your Charizard is dead. So, how does that feel? I hope it feels good. And what's next? You have two Pokemon like everyone else for some Lucario. Um, we will let... Oh. Uh, let's let Cluckers take care of this. I can't... Yep. Yeah, why do you guys only have two Pokemon? Is That does not make you challenging at all. It makes it extremely easy and very disappointing. So... Yeah, you lost, and for once you don't actually say anything. I may have lost, but I still beat the Elite Four at any cost. Does that mean you're gonna, like, cheat or something? Uh, just in case, I have a feeling they're probably gonna throw more rival battles at us, just because the game hates us. So, let's heal up, and, you know, if not, it's like, whatever. Zero Heat Championship. Oh. Uh, I fought the Elite Four many times, but they always win. That's because you suck, sir. Oh my god, we made it. We made it to the Elite Four. Oh! What? Oh my god, what the heck? They froze... Put the gym leaders in boxes. Oh my god. That's totally not weird. Okay, well, um, I think that's going to wrap it up for today, guys. Next time, we'll be taking on all of the Elite Four in one super episode. Unless we lose, I'm like the first person, which is going to suck. Actually, next time we'll have grinding, because I'm definitely going to need to grind up. And let's pick our newest team member before we leave. Or I might have like a poll. I might leave this up to you guys to do like a poll with. Um... Uh, let's see. Wait, really quick. Let's save this. And I still have the old save file that's glitched. So let's go look at that really quick. And, um, which is on my... Yeah, let's look at all these Pokemon here. Who should I bring with me to the Elite Four? Who should my sixth party member be? Okay. Remember, we have... Ro Roxy's Ed. We have Cluckers, Rusty, Fruit Loop, Keckles, Orange. We have all these Pokemon plus Giratina. Who should I bring along? You guys tell me. I will have a poll down in the description, very top of the description. Don't tell me in the comments. Click on that link. It will have all the possible Pokemon. Whoever gets the most votes by the time I start my grinding will be chosen. So, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, I'm Marty Tech Yo-Yo. Peace. Bye. Or something like that. See ya.